you also participated in color experimentation, didn't you? Yes, while, uh, of course, television was so new, but it was black and white. And at the same time, we all had tentacles out knowing that color was being experimented with. And we thought, oh, I wonder what that would be. Great, wonderful color. Well, it was even more into my lap when I was called and said, we want to do a show and I'd like to use the Hit Parade dancers to show movement again. How is it that idea of will color hold, or even in black and white, we want to see moving things on the camera to see that the color and the picture hold. So and now I'm hearing the same thing that I heard with black and white. Will color hold? And I said, well, let's try. And we went to the uh, Colonial Theater in New York. I don't know if it exists. And I had the Hit Parade dancers. And we did a big waltz. And I remember they said, blue is a, I said, what, what are your favorite colors? What works best in color? Blue. Everybody, yeah, blue is great. So on the girls, we put big, uh, big uh, skirted blue dance dresses. And then their petticoats were all the other colors of red and green and yellow. So I staged a number uh, for, to uh, dance through the studio and around the stage and to show that the color would hold with the camera moving and the dancers were moving. So I staged it for one crane camera. And we started, we called it the Blue Hole Waltz because the girl, Nanone Millis, was on the floor uh, sitting on a hip with her legs tucked under her and the skirt spread all around her. So on a high shot, it looked, all the dance said, Nan Owens in a hole. She's in a hole down there. You couldn't see her leg. And then she would rise from that, but you'd see this big patch of blue and a blonde head. And then as you crane down, she would rise and flip her skirt, which was all multicolor, moving again, moving image. And then she'd flip it again through the camera so they could see. The color hell, the color hell. It didn't blur or bleed. And then more dancers would join and then whirling of lots of blues and colors. And the guys would lift her past camera. And when their camera would go up in the air, they would lift girls up into the air past the camera. And Nanette Fabre would do a song and Dolores Gray came into it later. And we did a short little 15 minute demonstration show and people from the FCC would come out and They'd go to New Jersey instead of the studio. First, they would go to New Jersey. We would do the show so they could see the show in color, in transmission, live from a studio camera in Manhattan. Then they would see that it was okay. Then they would come to the studio and they would watch it on the floor with the camera moving to see that indeed that's what was happening. Then they would go into a room and watch it on monitor, on monitor and a glass through the window so they could see that it was happening right there on the floor and on a television monitor. And we did this oh, for weeks. <laughs> Finally, color came in. So you were basic, that experimentation was, was really... A real pioneering. Yeah. But so it was kind of thrilling for all of us and a, a boon to the dancers because uh, the more people that were coming up from Washington, it was amazing how many throngs of people would be coming. And we said, how do we pay the dancers? How do we pay these performers? And it kept adding more performances a day and more performances. So my manager, Will Sanders, said, well, it, it was, we we're pioneering. How do you do this? And he said, pay by the performance, pay per performance, not by the day, so how much for each performance? So five performances, dancers all, oh yeah, five of the performance because they were getting one salary for how many times they had to stay and get out of wardrobe, get into our, well, we need another show now because they weren't scheduled. They were, okay, we have another group coming in, get suited up and off we go. So. We all knew we were pioneers at the time without covered wagons, but we were, we were it. It was up to this uh, to sell color television. What was your impression of color I television? I loved it. 
And I thought, why is it taking so long? Don't, don't the suckers see that it works? Look at it on camera. And we've been doing this over and over. Long before they saw it, we were rehearsing this. And it works on camera. And all the technicians thought, gee, that looks great. And the skin looked good. We'd have uh, um, Color Mary would put up a model and balance the colors on this. Uh, there was a gr literally a girl who sat there in the early days, sat there while colors were being balanced. And finally, years later, it became a mannequin, <laughs> painted the, the right colors. But it, in the early days of living, honest together, God, good looking girl sat there. Did they have a lot of lights? Lots of lights. Yeah. Not like the black and white, though. Not that experimental barrage of battery of lights that were pressed up against us, but lots of lights.